today I am going to show how to make hing in SolidWorks. So let's begin. Uh, go to sketch and click on sketch again and from here select front plane now go to rectangle now draw a rectangle okay now uh, go to smart dimension and take this length 150 mm and this one 7 uh, 70 mm Okay, now go to features and click on extruded boss or base. And from here, select mid plane and take this one 8 mm. Okay, now select right plane, sketch, uh, press, on, uh, press on space bar, click on normal to. Okay, uh, exit, uh, select right plane, go to reference geometry and select plane and take this 175. Okay, now click on space bar and select normal to. Now go to sketch and select circle. Okay, uh, select front plane, uh, plane 1 and then sketch, now select circle and from this point draw a circle and from this point draw another circle, okay, now okay. move this one a bit. <laughs> Okay, okay, now go to smart dimension and take this one. Skip, go to smart dimension and take this dimension just okay, take this one just 24 mm. And this one 12 mm. Now go to features and click on excluded boss or base and take this one just 30 mm. In the direction okay front plane now click on sketch and now click on space bar click on normal to now select center line draw a center line select now okay, go to features okay exit now click on uh, linear pattern uh, features and faces select this feature direction one take the center line take this one 60 mm and make it 3 okay okay now um front plane sketch and click on space bar normal to <coughs> now select circle draw one circle another circle now another circle 
OK, now select center line and from the mid plane and draw a center line. OK, now select this circle, press on control, now this circle and this circle make equal. OK, and now select the center, press on control, select this line and the center and make them symmetric okay now select this center and select this line <coughs> make them coincident okay now okay. now go to features and click on extruded cut and from here mid plane perfect so this is the one part of the hing and now just height plane now height center line okay now save this one this is part one save okay now okay delete this part yes okay right plane sketch the circle press on control select the circle now go to features okay exit <coughs> select the circle press on control select the circle and now click on extruded boss or base and this is <coughs> from offset and take this offset distance um, 30 mm in the direction okay not 60 mm okay <coughs> Okay, then <coughs> okay. Now select linear pattern and faces features and faces. Select this one. Now for direction. Okay, is it this one? So we need the center line. So visible this one again. A linear pattern so for direction select this one for features and faces select this one change this one to change the direction okay now hide the center line okay Now we can go for assembly. So this is another part. So this is the now we, we should go for the assembly and for this one file and then make assembly from part <coughs> browse <coughs> part one okay exit exit okay uh, okay uh, now we uh, we need to uh, save this one also save as and this is part 2 ok now make assembly from part ok now browse select part 1 also and bring part 1 here and 
and now select part 2 and keep it here okay now click on assembly click on mat Click on mat, select this surface and this surface, uh, click here, uh, change the direction, okay now again uh, now click here, okay. Okay, cross. Now again click on mate. Now select this surface. And now select this surface. Okay. Now select this circle and now this circle concentric. Okay, click on yes. Okay, close. Okay, so this is our hing. This is our hing. Now let's apply the material. Click here. Appearance. Select metal. Select aluminium. And just press on this. Change the color. Not this one, select this one, also this one. Okay, so this is our mechanical hing. So, friend, if you think that this video is useful, please subscribe my channel, like, comment, and share my videos. And if you have any question, you can ask that in the comment box. Thank you.